Some time ago, someone had asked me to model up a gyroid, and I did it in NX, and NX did a pretty good job, but there were some little inconsistencies that I didn't particularly like, so I wanted to test it out in Katia. Um, the setup, just quickly, you can go get this out of uh, another one of my videos if you want to see it, is uh, pretty simple. I just created a cube centered at absolute in all directions. This is just a four inch cube in all directions off of the absolute. And then on each one of those faces, I draw circles. Oh, let me show that so you can see a little bit. So these little circles or arcs, part of the circle, um, are connected on those faces. And again, for the whole setup, you can go uh, reference the old NX gyroid video. Now, to go ahead and create the fill, I'll just pick these in order. Select OK. And just like that, I get a good looking surface. Now, uh, first check that I ran in NX is to see if it, the surface actually runs right through the absolute, right through the center of where the gyroid, in my mind, logically, it should flow to. So to do that, I just did a measure, the surface to the absolute. And in Katia, as you can see, it gives me a perfectly accurate result. In NX, it was off just a little bit, not very much. Uh, but it still wasn't perfect. I had to go through extra steps to get it to run right through that absolute point. So in this case, I would say Katia is the winner because it gives me a really nice looking surface and it's perfectly balanced across the center point. Uh, the next check that I did is I did a surfacic curvature analysis and uh, we'll go over here to a Gaussian, use a min-max and Again, no real sudden changes. Everything looks pretty good, very consistent as it goes through and comes down into the uh, absolute. And this has got to absolutely flatten out a little bit. And as you can see right at that point, right where it touches absolute, the surface is totally flat. And that makes sense logically to my brain. That makes complete sense. It does a little bit of waffling around over here. All other CAD systems that I've seen make the surface do the same thing. It's, let's face it, a very complex shape. Um, but it's not very much. You can see once you get into the greens and the blues, that uh, is a very minimal amount. It really doesn't travel too much. So um, in this case, in the CAD Wars, I give this a V5 victory. Uh, you'll get the same result in 3D Experience because they use the same uh, modeling, uh, basic uh, uh, kernel underneath. So uh, whether it's V5 or 3D Experience, you'll get the same uh, result. So in this case, Katia is the winner.